yeah I was trying on some clothes and it was a unisex changing room which I'm really for and I love that because you know it makes everyone feel included but twice um two men walked opened the curtain walked in on me all right guys so we got to talk about a testimonial that is going viral uh, featuring this woman who had a traumatic experience in a changing room. An experience that women are being forced to go through because of wokeness in this society. And the saddest part about this, guys, is that these women who are going through these traumatic experiences are actually supporting the policies in place that allow them to have these traumatic experiences. Traumatic experiences that are completely 100% avoidable if we actually were living in a world based on common sense and not wokeness grounded in trying not to hurt people's feelings who aren't necessarily grounded in reality. So I want to talk about that. But before I get into this video, I have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Bastion.com. I have been looking for a free speech platform that is kind of disconnected from our traditional internet infrastructure and that is why today i want to introduce to you guys a platform that i have partnered with that provides a decentralized social media experience a censorship free social media experience that is built on blockchain called bastion i am now on bastion uh because not only do i not want to be censored i also don't want corporate america tracking my every move online okay and what i post because they're trying to build a personal profile of you for nefarious purposes okay so again the answer to that is open source decentralized social media and that is bastion.com a non-corporate cross between twitter and youtube built on the bitcoin code it doesn't require any personal data to sign up and it runs on users computers with open source code so i've been using bastion basically it's like my platform that i use that is more decentralized that is different from other traditional platforms like you know youtube rumble BitChute, twitter that is what bastion is for me right it, it is a decentralized uh social media platform that i can have again just in case the um big tech censors decide to go after some of these other platforms or <laughs> go after me and in my experience using Bastion thus far, I found other content creators on the platform who you guys may know or recognize. And it kind of feels like a cross between YouTube and Twitter. That, that's what it feels like. It feels like YouTube and Twitter had a baby, right? That, that's what it feels like. Uh, so that being said, uh, again, it doesn't require any personal data to sign up. So you can comment on Bastion freely because your identity is protected. You can use the link below on the video to get the app and follow me there. Bastion developers also said that everyone who comments under my videos on Bastion will get a gift of two pocket coin. That is an external token of Bastion. Get the link below, sign up and follow me there. All right guys, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and roll the clip. I probably shouldn't be doing this when I'm still emotional, but I feel like I need to get the word out there. Um. So I was just in Primark um, in Cambridge and um, uh, I feel really stupid being emotional about this but um, yeah I was trying on some clothes and it was a unisex changing room which I'm really for and I love that because you know it makes everyone feel included but twice um, two men walked, opened the curtain, walked in on me um, luckily both times I had, I was wearing fully clothed, but I could easily not have been, um, and I, yeah, it was two different people, um, clearly from the same group, and there was many, like, uh, probably like a hundred changing rooms available, um, so it's not like, you know, it was like always someone in here or not, it was, you know, clearly, um, yeah the first time it was like as they walked in they did it and then the second time was one of them said to the other one oh like have you tried it on like can i see and then yeah he opened it and both times like i was so shocked and i was like oh sorry like as if it was my fault um but yeah um i have to say though primark have been amazing um they were really really good about it um yeah they, they have walked me back to my car and everything because I was scared um, apparently it's not the first time it's happened and um, security are watching back the tapes and seeing if they can find who it is but 
yeah i just want to say to people please be careful um and if you go in the changing room try not go on your own um i will never be doing that again i would rather take it home try it on and then take it back and get refunded so yeah stay safe yeah so as you guys can see there um that is a prime example why our society is very 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 sickly even though this does take place i believe in the uk uh, the UK is not that much different than the US in regards to the woke lunacy going on. Okay, we have a very sickly society because we have now fooled women into thinking that it is their fault, that they are guilty because men are creeping on them in the changing room. A changing room that should not be gender neutral, it should be gender and stuff like this should never happen. But this woman feels guilty because she supports gender neutral or unisex changing rooms for whatever reason despite knowing and having an experience that was traumatic for her after she got creeped on by two dudes in the changing room but again our society has programmed people to believe that no 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 it's not the fault of the policies the policies are good because the policies are inclusive okay you, you, you if you're against our policies then you must be against inclusivity okay and that's a problem right so it's not that the problem is you. You are the problem for getting upset, for being uncomfortable. You should be totally fine with dudes creeping in on you while you're changing because, again, you're supposed to be for inclusivity, okay? Only bigots get uncomfortable with dudes uh, walking in on them while they're changing. Again, it's a shame. This, this woman has got to the point where not only is she blaming herself, but she's also saying that she's going to go out of her way to avoid going into the changing room, something that she does not have to do. So she's gonna buy the clothes, take them home, try them on, and then come back to the store for a refund, all to avoid the changing room. Again, extra steps that she just should not have to take. And this company should not be, you know, getting praise for this, right? She's praising the company, saying thank you, blah, 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 blah. No, she should be saying, no, you should not have unisex changing rooms. You should have men and women separated so that things like this don't happen but again she has unfortunately been brainwashed and maybe even shamed into going along with this woke nonsense that she knows she doesn't agree with right how in the world can you say i agree with unisex changing rooms or gender neutral changing rooms while at the same time having a traumatic experience or experience that was traumatic for you when you had two dudes creep on you which is a result of having gender neutral changing rooms it really makes no sense and again, what's sad is that, you know, if you look at the comment section here, uh, the people, for the most part, they, they don't seem to be blaming the policy more so that they're saying other things are to blame. Like, for example, uh, the top like comment here says, I think changing rooms should have proper doors on like toilets. That's not the problem, <laughs> right? It's not about the doors. It's about the fact that there's men in there. So torn about how I feel about this. I want everyone to feel included and everyone to feel safe at the same time. Wow. Again, ridiculous. Ridiculous. This whole idea of inclusivity, um, it, it, it makes people's brains melt, right? It makes people lose their common sense, okay? I'm so sorry this happened. I can't imagine how scary it must have been. They really need boarded doors that can lock like the ones in JD. Yeah, so again, the takeaway here is that, oh, no, they need, they need doors that can lock the takeaway is not they need to change the policy there doesn't need to be gender neutral changing rooms no that's not the part no that's not it it is oh no no they need to lock the doors <laughs> i mean it blows my mind this country has become dangerous unisex changing rooms should have proper doors with a lock i understand why places have unisex but not everyone is innocent unfortunately doors with locks should help hope you're okay though Again, finally, we get down here to a comment that's actually grounded in some common sense. That's why we need separate changing rooms and toilets. Facts. Facts. That's exactly what we need, okay? Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, videos like this are sad, man. Because even the people that are the victims of these ludicrous woke policies, they are supporting these policies because they don't want to be called bigots. Right. They don't want to be called transphobic. Right. They don't want to be called names. So therefore, they support policies that they know are not right. They support traumatizing themselves and making themselves go through inconveniences that they shouldn't have to go through just so they're not called names. 
And that's the most disturbing part about this, guys. I feel sorry for this woman, but I only can feel so sorry when you're advocating and supporting the policies that led to your traumatic experience in the first place. Again, it absolutely blows my mind, man. It really does. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.